There's a lot of people thinking of what ifs here in East Tennessee. We're learning there are several bridges in bad condition in our area. One major concern in Hawkins County. Our Sam Luther shows us how some first responders are saying they don't feel safe crossing it. And this is making response times longer. On Goshen Valley Road, hundreds of cars drive across this bridge every day, but lately there's been concern. You could feel the bridge move as you drove across it. TDOT rates the condition of bridges across the state on a scale of zero to 100. This bridge scored a six. Because of this, Assistant Fire Chief Steve Walter says his department won't be driving their engines on this bridge. Worry. Uh, the rating of the bridge, the condition that it's in. The bridge can support 10 tons of weight at a time. These fire engines weigh up to 25 tons apiece. That means when the station responds to a call on the other side of the Holston River, it takes up to 45 minutes, more than half an hour longer than usual. For some, this could be the difference between life and death. I have survived a major heart attack. Uh, that was 10 years ago. And I try to stay healthy, but you just never know when something can run up on you. TDOT says the bridge needs replacing, but it's still safe to drive on. Hawkins County Mayor Mark DeWitt says it's the fire department's choice to drive across the bridge or not. He says he wouldn't hesitate to make the drive himself. Well, he's probably driving a car across the bridge. He's not driving a 50,000 pound truck across the bridge. Big difference. Those fearful that first responders won't be able to reach them in time, frustrated. Absolutely ridiculous that it got to this point. It didn't get there overnight. As a fire department, knowing they likely couldn't get to a fire in time is thankful there hasn't been a tragedy yet, fearful that it could be inevitable. Not yet, not since we've learned about the latest reports, uh, and I'd read the day that it does come. Well, TDOT has the authority to shut the bridge down, but they say it's safe for now. Hawkins County is responsible for replacing it. The county mayor tells us they're working on plans to do that now, but say it'll come at a price tag of more than $14 million. Money they don't have right now. We did some digging into more bridges here in East Tennessee. TDOT says 51 bridges are on the state's list of poor bridges. That includes Cock, Cumberland, and Knox County, all making that list. Tall bridges are inspected at least every two years, according to TDOT. If you're curious, we do have a full list right now of all the Tennessee bridges on that list and more information inside the WVLT News app.